Hey guys, and welcome to another... Oh my god, I almost said... Hey guys, and welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play on the Vortex server. Today is episode 2. I don't need to remember the episode numbers that much anymore. But today is episode 2 of season 2, even though it's like season 4. Whatever. <laughs> it's season 4 for me, but season 2 because we started the real season 1. Stop talking. Okay, so I got some stuff to update you on. So we left off with this house, these two houses, uh, these three right here. So uh, I took sort of the design of this one and uh, inverted it, but made it a little bit taller. Now I, I wasn't liking these at first, how um, flat it was and how long the pillars were, but after you look at it for a while, it's not that bad. It's it really isn't. Of course, the insides are hideous and nothing is in there yet it's probably going to be like the i'm going to be honest with you it's probably going to be empty <laughs> for for a very long time 30 minutes strip money day two twenty down north so all he has to do is be dh so oh yeah i put some cactuses around cacti 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 around also afk runescape right now wood cutting Hopefully you don't hear the sound in the background, but uh, here's the pathway. I have uh, more. I'm trying to make it more smooth stone, and then the. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> so I'm just tricking them. So uh, most of it is stone, and then the then then medium amount or you know minimal, not minimal. Just in, in, in the the in between amount is andesite and gravel which andesite is a beautiful path block so I'm gonna be using that a lot and cobblestone is the small one plus the sand so cobblestone is the very few you can see that mostly smooth stone plus quite a bit of gravel actually so this house was added here we go let's just check that before we check out our little docks area so cool I like these high high buildings or high buildings here uh oh that's not good I didn't even notice that it's not that bad. Oh, I'll probably fix it. Am I still... God, I'm still trucking RuneScape. I'm, I'm just starting to do more AFK in RuneScape while I'm playing Minecraft. If I did that in the beginning, I could probably do a lot more. Uh, you can have it back. Just figure out the console password. Um, it's with Etho, right? No, it doesn't start with Etho. He does like Etho. I'll get on that. I'll get on it. So, um, yeah. Let's kill some of these guys and get some ink. Every time I come here with my looting three sword. Oh, little story time here. Lo speaking of looting three, I went to a ne my nether fortress where I have the double blaze farm. I killed some wither skulls and I got two wither I mean, I killed some wither skelly skellies and I got two. Ooh, FIFA's on in the background World Cup. So, um, I killed quite a few of them, probably 20, and I got two skulls. Then I went over to Orb's base with the inventory that I had, um, and I still had them over there. I know I did because I placed them on his wall and was messing around with them. And so I, I don't know where they went, but they were just completely gone. I'm going to look through these chests one more time, and you guys can tell me if I'm blind or just an idiot, because they are not in here. They are not in the center chest. I checked his base. I might have threw them down because I remember him giving stuff uh, giving me stuff to build uh, a pathway for him well he he had a pathway design I was just helping him build it and I was going like this um, giving him his stuff back so I might have gave it to him on accident he might be lying there's dogs in the background um, I might have given to it given him to it given it to him no idea he could be lying to me but whatever I don't care uh, Orb and I mess around a lot so he probably did steal it but I will find it eventually or it's probably gone I checked all my furnaces to see if, you know, maybe he did have them and just put them back in a secret spot. I cannot find them. I don't know where they are. I know they're not in the nether somewhere. Unless, for some reason, I, I just threw some stuff out or I died with them. Well, they're, they're, just, uh, they're just lost. So, this dock area. Um, I, I've seen... Uh, I, I've done docks before where they go like this and then they just stop. And then that part is cut off and it looks more like this. But then I was playing RuneScape and I was doing a quest, Lunar Diplomacy. 
and it has nothing really to do it, nothing to do with it but I came to a part where there's a dock and you know you walked on the dock then you had to go up the ladder for whatever reason come back down go down a ladder and you're on the other side of the river and uh, then another dock so I kind of replicated that with my own style and I think it worked out pretty well my dog's still barking they bark at everything so tell me what you guys think about this dock and that house behind me so yeah it goes all the way down half slabs under there and yeah pretty cool so here's what we're gonna do today I want to work on maybe some more houses and if we find some other stuff like like any other let's play video it's probably gonna be five days long uh, of me just saying oh it's the next day oh it's the next day because I just find something cool to do so make sure I'm still recording okay I want to make when I was making that house that's the largest one out of the bunch here I would say uh, this is my most recent one I just kind of placed them uh, just randomly placed my my uh, my little whatever you call it not support beams just just these parts right here the corners and the the middle blocks so that's what I'm gonna do here but I'm just gonna wing it and make a nice I want I want a larger one and I want it on the hill Ooh, there's a guy in RuneScape talking to me I'm not gonna talk to him so let's let's just go with the flow here so I want everything to be odd numbers so there's three um, let's make it five let's go over here and make it you oh who scored someone scored don't know who let's make this seven and whenever you go with seven I always like to put a middle block there and let's just have everything uh, this high for now and see when, when you guys are building here and you have um, stuff on the on a hill just ignore the hill completely and just build your support beams this is how you should start all your houses right now, now I, I'm gonna try in one two three four five one two three let's get rid of you and you shouldn't need to use the X um, there's the three okay just completely ignore it pretend that it's not there um, that's three as well Oop, too high and let's just do this let's do another five yeah because we want it to be very large and different so there's five Ooh, this is gonna be this is gonna be one weird house so I don't know how we're gonna do this how it's gonna turn out but we'll see and actually I don't want to end it here I want to make a part like this three boom 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 yeah alright cool that's looking cool see you want to challenge yourself uh, challenge yourself in this game because uh, there's some stuff that a lot of people don't try they, they go with the same traditional uh, triangle roof house like I did there but you know you gotta try new things like adding a thing uh, adding another triangle to it another another part to the house you want to add uh, maybe a second level like I did there you want to add a second level to your docks if that tickles your fancy so yeah d do whatever you have to do let's go up here and just check out what we have here okay that's gonna be a pretty cool house so we got a lot of zombies here a lot of endermen alright but this place is looking cool and I lit up a lot of that area so pretty much all of that is lit up my skelly farm is over there um, these reeds I cut the reeds out from here but they go on a long way I just need to extend these I'm just doing that for fun so here we go we got three uh, three 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 opening three three there um, three three and then five 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 uh, you can say that's seven you can say that's seven but I guess it's not anymore and yeah so pretty cool I'm gonna figure out how I want to tackle this and I will come back with some details and how I'm going to do that because I can't just complete something and tell you I mean I can but it's better if we do this you know together as much as we can so I will be back with some progress okay so what I'm doing now to get a feel for what I'm building is getting rid of the edges or not the edges just the insides of these pillars so I know exactly um, what what sand I have to work with I mean I already know that but it, it just it's a visual thing for me to know that I will have stuff here most likely so I just want the stuff to be empty 
So right here we can have emptied, uh, which means like if we have this part empty here to, to that ground level, then I know this stuff right here can be gone. And it will help out this build tremendously because, you know, I know this stuff won't be here. Um, maybe I mean, you, you never know um, I might just work my way around around this thing I, I want it to be elevated I want it to look elevated and there's many ways we can do that uh, such as having these as sort of support beams and then having the house start up here or you know right here so that's probably what we're gonna do so I don't want to make this too you know cut I, I don't want to shrink this down too much I want it to look more like a hill so yeah that's just a little trick that I like to do and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't um, the times where it doesn't work is like if you're an in, in an extreme hills then it could get a little screwy so actually this part right here I will leave like this I will leave like that because that's pretty high up and this part I will so yep I will meet you back with another update okay I decided uh, I'm going to actually get rid of all of this I did do some terraforming there, not much, but you know some. And I am going to do the the making it look like it's on a hill afterwards and before. And here's how I'm going to do it before. Uh, I am going to select a level that I want the house to actually start at, and I'm probably going to do like right here, maybe. Um, probably right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably probably right there. I'm going to get rid of all of this, and once. Once we get our support beams down and all that stuff, uh, I will start to put some sand in to make it look like it's elevated. And it'll already look like it's elevated when the house starts up here. So that should be cool. Um, but, but yeah, again, another update. I will get rid of all of this, this sand here, and we can start our build. Okay, so this is a start. Um, right here is where I wanted the house to start. Now it's gonna look very very tall um, because I'm basing I'm basing this off of right over here I'll show you um, let me see right here okay so right here we have the creeper and then it goes up and then you have the glass pretty much that that glass shape here over here there's a creeper under here well you you know you, you imagine that there would be one put the stair on the same level but you go up too and then you sort of get this wave effect and I like that a lot. It looks like they're, you know, on different levels, but really they're the same level. It's not an illusion, but it's pretty cool. So when you have this part complete up here, um, it's going to look really tall, especially if this is one, two, five. Five blocks from the creeper face. So if we go like this, die. Okay. Um, this needs to go up three more blocks. So here, I'll even show you. But here's how we're going to fix it. it. Very simply, you know, you, what you do is, whether you're in creative or whatever, um, creative and you're, you're going to waste block, or you can waste as many blocks as you want. Uh, you can be picky about this one, but I would just complete it com completely and then start placing the sand uh, like this and then covering it up, you know, l making it look like it's higher up and that it's on some elevation. But show some show some uh, things if you can I'll probably mess with that but you can already see and that's probably gonna wrap around and look a lot cooler so that's the effect we're going for and I will meet you back when I get probably around to there that that the second one right over here done all the way around and then we can kind of see what one side of the house will look like and I'll put the sand there on camera so I will be back again with another update so we are back with all these sides done I just had to go find my sister two miles away walk all the way over there and find her it caused me from not recording this part but now I can so ooh, the, the my computer is running very fast so um this part like I said we're gonna be putting sand on this let's get some sand and parts like this I don't like but we can cover them up easily with the power of terrain so just like just like this uh, like I showed you before, didn't really mean to click there, um, but sometimes it's good to cover up the windows, give it, you know, sort of a, you know, a, a, you know, a feeling like it's flooded in sand. It's really cool. I love doing this. I've I've done it quite a few times, 
and it's a nice trick to know and use. I mean, really, it's not that hard. But you can always you can always get rid of some terrain like here and just recreate it in a nice, cool way. So we can cut it up here. Oh yeah, um, don't do that. Made temp hub by the way. Okay, cool, cool. Um, and parts like this right here, like I, I don't want to cover up that. I can just break, get rid of that, and actually I will cover it up. So, like that. So, very simple. AKA put spawn portal and roof. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, just a very easy trick. I'm gonna do that on the other side, and I'm also gonna get more of this house done, and I'll be back with you guys in a bit. Now this part right here is going to look a little bit awkward right now because we don't have this wall done or this wall done. But you can see that I'm connecting it with this land piece right here. So it is looking like it's on a natural hill. Also another trick we can do, I left this open for a reason, you could just put some sand behind there. It doesn't look bad at all. But I am probably not going to cover that up because I do want to show some of it. Um, like that so yeah that's also a nice effect you can do so yeah that's what I did and by the way it is the next day like I said it's probably gonna be like that in every single video where it's the next day but um this um, this high house um, opens up some opportunities we can have some stuff in the bottom here like you know down here a basement type thing uh, it, it could be cool or we can have uh, the doors start from right here. You go up some stairs and then you're on the first level. You can do a lot of stuff with this. So, um, yeah, that house is there. I want to... No one's on, by the way, because it is the next day. Lars said he fixed the Blaze Farm. I didn't think anything was wrong with it. <laughs> he said it took 30 minutes to get 50 Blaze. But I followed, I followed the tutorial's instructions and... You know, the person who was doing it was Mumbo Jumbo, and he seems more than qualified. So I must have done something wrong. But uh, I don't think so. I think he's just a little derpy. But whatever. If anything, I probably forgot to put a block on top of the spawner. But I think I did that. Um, yeah, I don't know. But it looks like I'll have to check that out. When I come back, I'll either be over there, here, or somewhere else. By the way, today is Father's Day or at least that's when I'm recording this and hopefully I can get the video up so make sure you say happy Father's Day because that's not good if you don't <laughs> but just just do that and you'll be fine um, so yeah what I'm doing here just very uh, very simply just cutting out this part right here so I have more room to work with and you can always fix that and terraform it later uh, like I said before so uh, yeah that's what I'm doing also one more thing before I start uh, doing the rest of these walls here. Um, what I'm doing here, you see, you saw that I had two different things. Uh, I like to do this, or at least I started to like to do it over there. Um, like if if the sides like this, you know, if I if I'm looking at it, it the house like this all the time, the sides that are going left to right are always going to be like this, or at least the three wide ones. And then, and then if the ones on that are going up and down here always look like this so I have some kind of pattern going and some variation and that's how I'm gonna do things so right here you can see I have some more support beams and I think that just more um, more reliable I guess but it, it's just it's just a nice pattern to have it just you know that there's something to follow um, but yeah that's it so it, it just take that into account when you're doing some stuff it could help you and just always keep a pattern but not too much because you want some variation another complaint I have about something that I just have to say I have Skype open on my computer pretty much all the time whenever it's on uh, it's probably on 95 percent of the time and I have it on my phone so when I have my computer off I can have Skype on my phone to see if anyone's doing anything on vortex chat or whatever so that's besides the point so the phone part, just a little rant here. The phone part is the worst, the worst app I've ever seen in my life. Okay, I don't know if it's my phone that's the problem, but I, it has to be, um, it has to be the stupid app's problem. Because what happens? I, I, there's no setting that does this. 
I'll have the app completely off on my phone and the Skype program on my computer and if I get a message on that it goes to my phone it gives me a stupid notification whether it's a ringtone or a vibration and it is so annoying whether I have it on do not disturb or not it's the worst de developed app unless I'm doing something wrong I have no idea so am I doing this right I don't think those are stairs it says these are stairs let me see what they did there no of course I did that um so yeah just rant I hate that app so much I hope whoever made it can just you know jump down a cliff or something because that is I have to deal with that I've I've dealt with that for probably a year now and it is god god awful what am I doing wrong now oh that this part goes like this and that part goes like that there we go so yep rant hate that app tell me if that happens to you or you just have an app that sucks too so yeah that can go there um but yeah working on this again probably another rant incoming oh while I'm doing this uh, I should tell you again I'm not really done with this but um <laughs> um the forums the forums for the vortex server we have updated it Cryo made an update updated version um it's still the same thing it just has frequently asked questions and uh stuff like that that people may be interested in so if you guys still want to apply or maybe you're just new to this channel and you, you're figuring it out now there's a link to the application video below which you must watch there is a text form on the forum but i would prefer if you watch it anyway um, just so you have, you know, someone, someone talking you through it, which is Lars and I. It's not on. Um, so, yeah, go watch that video. Go on the forums. Read the frequently asked questions. Do whatever you have to do, and hopefully you can get in because we are looking for more people. We have, I think, eleven people on the server. Um, one who really doesn't play that much, but is on just because they're they've been a long-term member. Um, two, well, three in total who don't record. Uh, one of those is the one who doesn't play um, but that's pretty much it everyone else is playing and we've had a lot of members over the past and a lot of cool ones uh, some that left due to inactivity and some who left for other reasons um, but yeah if you guys want to join and you're looking for a fun server to play on fun vanilla 24 7 server then make sure to go and check out that link um, now I'm wondering what we should do for this site here shouldn't be too much of a problem um, but yeah that's about it I'm going to finish this up completely this time and you're probably gonna see me at spawn and uh, we'll I'll, we'll sort of brainstorm what we want to do there because I think I should be building something at spawn at this time oh I believe in that a uh, few clips ago you you saw Lars type in that he put the hub in the ceiling so I guess we could check that out together uh, my my uh, base isn't far you just go over there I know I don't have render distance on let's crank that eight I usually don't do that when I record because it gets a little bit laggy but we'll, we'll deal with it so the portal used to be right there you walked here walk down there 50 blocks go down the stairs turn right about 10 blocks and then uh, then you'll find my tunnel so let's check out check it out and see what Lars did um I hope he put up a ladder somewhere don't um you could have filled this this soul sand in Lars but I'm guessing it's up here so yeah we'll check it out I believe bright wanderer is making the the nether hub this time I don't know I I hope she's doing it in creative first she was planning on doing it on the server just winging it or no not necessarily winging it but just doing it on the server to begin with and I think that's a bad idea because um well temp hub down to the portal Lars base and mob tower I think it's a bad idea because, well, we can say, you know, our opinions on stuff if it's built in creative, which is what Lars did probably every season. And Lars has done the, the Nether Hub every season. So, yeah, that's that. I just bred these guys earlier. Let me breed them again. So this is what we have in spawn right now. Um, no one's been no one's been here probably for a while. I'm probably the most recent one to be here. Let's take that. Uh, Lars built this. That's the first farm. Actually, that's the first food farm don't even know what that that is that's Bright's building I don't know why she put that there um 
but yeah nothing really here but I think there should be something here it, it is a it is an island or at least partially an island over there is ooh what's that we gotta go check that out okay let's check that out move from the looks of it it looks like a Mavota build from far over here, from way over here if I'm not mistaken but actually before we do that let's go and check out that right there okay I, this is can I climb up Jesus I think this is in Sidines and if it's not in Sidines the only other person I can think of is Sepson but this is looking really cool this is a really cool build uh, I've seen if this is in Sidines build um, his last castle build uh, my my opinion on that on the last server wasn't the most amazing thing ever or appealing to me and I'll say that honestly I hope you can respect that but this if that's inside in his build that's a huge improvement because this looks really nice I like it a lot so I don't know what it what it's gonna be but whatever it's gonna be you know it should be cool I don't see why, why it can't be but that's there uh, it kind of sucks that it's covered up mostly but if spawn ends up being a pretty large thing we can just go around there and um, do our thing that does no no it doesn't really look like a Mavota build okay but it still does we can go check um, I'm gonna say cryo now because I, I remember seeing cryo over here oh, oh let's go down someone's been building okay someone's been building a lot maybe this is someone's base that's a lot of building for another portal. I wonder what it is. Um, hmm. I really do. There's no sign. Or at least I didn't see one. We'll, we'll go. We'll go through. Are you kidding me? So that's supposed to be the entrance to the. Oh, well, I mean, that's quite a long walk. But now we're back out here. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But, um, yeah, that's that. So what should I build at spawn? Last time, the first build on spawn was actually my build, maybe. I don't know if it was the first actual build, but it was one of the first. I built a lodestone around the portal. And if you guys don't know what a lodestone is, it's a thing that you would teleport to on the game RuneScape, uh, which would be sort of not the center of town, of that town, but it's just sort of a home teleport thing to your favorite towns of of, of um of RuneScape. So it, it was super sized because in RuneScape it's pretty small, but still it, it held the same purpose. Um, but yeah, that's that. I don't know what I should build here. If you guys have any ideas, ooh, that's a lot. Um, if you guys have any ideas of what I should build, please put it down in the comments below. I like this, uh, I like uh, my subscribers to be interactive uh, with what I'm building giving me feedback of what sucks and what doesn't so um yeah that's that i'm gonna check out the blaze farm afterwards and we'll probably maybe end up end off the episode there i don't know but yeah that's that and i'll meet you there finally we are here and this video is actually going on going on quite a long time it's probably at 29 minutes right now so time to check out what lars did let's hope he didn't change everything okay looks fine and bill appear to activate spawners crusher button so i i don't know what he's talking about but if you go up here he said it took 30 minutes to get 50 blaze from if you go up here and stay here for 10 minutes you'll probably get close to 50 to be honest but what you do is click that well now you click it click that and i believe if you click that that activates but it gets a little glitchy do that that you're done I mean, maybe it's maybe there is something wrong. Uh, I'll I'll look at it, but whatever. Blame mumbo jumbo. And you hit these guys, and they're done. Um, if I had an Ender Pearl, I'd go over there. And you can't really see the spawner up there, but whatever. So yeah, that's about it. If you guys Should enjoyed this video, whoa, guy on the stream in the background. I thought I muted that. Sorry. Ooh. So um, I I, I would like to. Um, I, I'd like to do a sort of a end of the video question thing like Etho does. I know I'm, I'm copying it, whatever, whatever you say. 
but I think it'd be cool to have like a question to answer. So if you guys have any questions to answer, I usually answer them in the comments all the time instead of the video. But if you guys want me to answer it in video form, uh, leave a question down below for me to answer at the end of the video or in the beginning, whatever. And yeah, I think it's a cool thing we could start. And again, the idea is from Etho. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, click that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time.